No, I don't waste no time. So guys, I just put up on my Instagram stories that I was going to do a Q&A for my Facebook group. So that is the reason for me recording this today. For those of you that are just tuning in now or have not yet seen any of my videos just yet, my name is Joshua Daniel George. I am a social media marketer and online coach. So I have my own advertising agency where I help online stores basically you know, get more sales through Facebook advertising. And alongside that, I also teach you guys, so media buyers, aspiring agency owners, consultants, etc., on how to do the same. So how to get clients, how to set up your own advertising agency, and also how to get results for your clients so that your clients actually stay for longer. Now, before we begin, um, this is going to be a recording in the Facebook group. So if you have not checked out the Facebook group yet and you're watching this on YouTube or Instagram or whatever I publish it, then make sure you check it out. It's a free Facebook group and it also has my vault page where it's basically got every single course, ebooks, uh, info products, and you know just a bunch of content basically, all on the one page. That's why it's called the vault. And um, anyone who joins my Facebook group or our Facebook group, I should say, cause it's uh, co-owned by Erin Kaiser, who is uh, probably hands down the best media buyer in the Netherlands at the moment. Um, so we both own the group. And uh, like I said, all of our content's there and it's free. So all the content's free for all new members of the group. So make sure you check it out. It'll be linked. Uh, like I said, if you're watching this on YouTube, it'll be linked in the description or in the first column below. And uh, if you are watching this on Facebook, then leave a comment down below as well with any other questions that you may have. Anyway, let's uh, hop into the questions. So these are the questions from my Instagram stories. Um, first one is from Michel or Michael Bruersma. Uh, best way for doing outreach to get new clients. So for me, um, I'd say round about now, a lot of our clients are coming from referrals, um, you know, basically other clients that are referring us on to their um, network, etc. But in terms of cold outreach, um, I'd say paid traffic, paid ads is the best way to go. Why is that? Because everybody is doing Facebook outreach, Instagram outreach, email outreach, and so on and so forth. And I, when I see these agencies online promoting that they help stores get more leads or more sales, and then I look and see that they're not running any ads themselves, I always think, okay, so why are you not running ads for yourself if you're the so-called expert, right? So it's immediate social proof if you run ads for your own agency. Because if a client or a potential client, I should say, comes in through an ad, then you know you can just say to them, listen, the, the reason why we're on the call today is because you came through our ads. You know, it works, we know what we're doing. So we could do the same for you and run ads in front, you know, to get your business or your service in front of your potential clients. So it's immediate social proof. And the great thing is as well is when you ask like what what you know what entice you to hop on this call today. Um, they can say, oh, you know, I, I've seen your advertisements, it looked interesting, uh, that's why I clicked on it. Whereas if you uh, do a cold email or a cold Instagram DM or anything like that, and you ask that question, chances are, you know, they'll probably just say, well, listen, you reached out to me, don't be trying all that reverse psychology stuff on me, you reached out to me, so, you know, let me know what you, what you, what you want to pitch me for. So, um, yeah, obviously, you know, paid traffic does cost money, I think, around about now, our cost per call booked is around the 200 euro mark. So it's still extremely profitable, but you, know, you do need to spend a little bit of money into ads um, if you actually wanna start running them yourself for your agency. Um, so if you cannot do that, if you don't wanna run any ads for your agency just yet, um, just cause you haven't got the cash flow or you don't feel comfortable with it or you know any other reason, then I think cold email at scale is the second best way to go. So um, obviously, you know, those in the program have the hybrid outreach system where we teach you guys basically you know, how you can do all of that at scale. But yeah, just cold emails. And I don't mean just sending 10 cold emails a day. Um, it will be a numbers game. So let's say 1% uh, 
uh, reply to your emails. That means you need to send out 100 emails to get the one reply. And then let's say for every five replies, you get one positive reply or someone actually wanting to book a call with you. You know, you need to five X the amount of emails on the front end to actually get that one call booked. So know your numbers, know that it is gonna take a bit of time, a bit of effort, um, and yeah, cold email at scale. If you can't run paid ads, if you can run paid ads, then definitely do that. Um, second question is from Vilnius. I'm not gonna try and pronounce your second name, apologies for that. Um, how do I automate the billing? for back end deals is this possible um so you can't really automate it because i'm guessing that at the end of every month the deal is going to be different right so you're going to scale this client up and then you're going to get more money um as a result of that or vice versa you know if the client doesn't spend as much that month or if the results are not as good that month then obviously your back end deal will also be different so if you are just purely on commission basis or purely on a back-end deal without a front-end retainer, then what I will do is I would invoice your client for one dollar or one euro, you know, or one pound, whatever you know it is that you're from, for just just a small fee, just so you have their credit card on file. You can even refund the the, the one dollar or the one pound if you want. After that, to be fair, I think with the Stripe fees, if you use Stripe, um, you know it'll probably cost you more to get the $1 than it is to actually receive it. But the point is you wanna get their credit card on file before you start working together. Then on the at the end of every month, just say you're gonna bill that card on file and then invoice them after you've done so. So you don't invoice them because it will get messy. You basically send them a, a receipt almost of you know what you've taken out of the account. So you tell them that you're gonna do it with the credit card on file. If you have a front-end retainer, which we do for most of our clients as well, so we get a front-end deal and a back-end deal going, um, then what we say to them is, listen, we are going to charge the card on file, but invoice separately. So then we'll automate the front-end billing, and then the back-end, we'll do that ourselves, depending on you know what kind of results we've got on that month. And then we'll do that on the same card, so we'll do it ourselves, and then just send them a, a receipt of the payment that we've taken out. So let's say we start on the 1st of February, um, then we get our front end retained on the 1st of February and on, on the 28th of February, we will separately invoice them for the back end deal and that will be the invoice for that month. So hope that makes sense, uh, Vilnius. Then question from Short. Hey Joshua, apology for my English skills. I wanna increase the quality of my leads and also wanna make sure my tracking is 100% accurate. How do I do this? It's for lead generation clients in Belgium. Okay, so those are two separate questions, right? So increase the quality of the leads. You can literally increase the amount of questions that you ask on the lead form or on the landing page because you need to think of it like this. If you ask them, hey, what's your name? Everyone's gonna take the time to fill that in, right? But if you ask them like 10 questions, then only those that are actually serious about becoming a lead will take the time to fill out those questions. And that is why you know a lot of these forms for high-ticket items or high-ticket programs are quite long and tedious because they want people to drop off that are not 100% serious. So if you are very serious about joining something, you will go the extra mile. You will jump through those hoops to you know, be considered as part of that program or part of that, um, that offer. Whereas if you're not really, you know, you've been on the fence about it, you think, okay, you know, if, it's, if, it's, um, if it's easy to do, I'll set it up. If not, I'll leave it then you know if you see 10 questions you're gonna you're gonna leave it and those people were not really interested anyway right so if you want to increase the quality of the leads increase the amount of friction on the front end so make sure that they answer a bunch of questions maybe get them to watch a video first um, depending on what niche it is what you could even do is have a video sales letter where the form that they can fill in or the calendar that they can fill in or whatever it is you know however you've structured it only appears after a set amount of time. So for one of our high ticket clients, this was before uh, the webinar sort of funnel became obsolete. What we actually did was we only had our offer appear one hour in. So after one hour, a pop-up would appear where they can book in a free call. Um, and like I said, you know, everyone that's seen that pop-up will have already watched one hour of this free training, so they were more qualified to actually you know, um, book in that call. Whereas if we offered that on the front, so right away after the webinar started or the free training started, you know, you'll just get a bunch of unqualified leads, people that haven't watched the video or not like that because they just immediately click on the offer. 
So that is what I would do is increase the friction on the front end to make sure that only those that are actually serious about it will um, fill out that form. And then in terms of tracking, it will never be 100% accurate anymore. You can get close to 100%, but exactly 100% accurate is getting more and more difficult post iOS 14. We're all ad blockers and so on and so forth. Um, so if you are using Facebook and you're using, um, well, to be fair, if you're using Facebook, I'll go for the Facebook lead form because the Facebook lead form is 100% on the Facebook platform, which means that Facebook own 100% of the data, which also means that you can see 100% of the data. And that is why Facebook are also really pushing for the lead form nowadays, because they know that you know both parties will benefit. They benefit from it because people stay on the platform. You benefit, benefit from it because obviously you, know, you get all of the data and there's no pixel and not like that needed. Um, so yeah, hope, hope that answers your question. And then we have a question from, Andreas Venizelos, <laughs> apologies if I've mispronounced that. Um, if I schedule a call with you, would, what would be the area of discussion? Um, so just right to the bat, there is no way you can schedule a call with me directly. You know, you can schedule a call with um, a member of our team, um, and then it, it depends on what it is that you want, right? So if you want to join one of my programs, um, then you know, that will be the area of discussion. We'll see if you're a right fit for the program. We can see if we can actually help you um, and if you are a client, so you have a business that you want us to run ads for, then you know that will be the area of discussion on that call. We'll see, you know, where is it that your business is at? Where do you want to get your business to? Can we do that with paid traffic? Um, and if so, you know, what would that look like? How much do you need to invest into ads? What would we take as a retainer? How much time would it cost on our end? Is your Shopify store up to scratch? And so on and so forth. So um, if you want to speak with me, the best place to do so is probably the Facebook group or Facebook Messenger. And then a third place, I'd say Instagram DMs, but I am quite sloppy with the Instagram DMs, to be fair. If you end up in the request section, chances are I probably won't even see it. Um, and yeah, if you want to speak to a member of our team, then like I said, it, it depends on what it is that you want to discuss. Um, and then yeah, just scheduling in a call to speak to a member of our team is probably the easiest way to do so. And then we have a question from Steph. How old are you now? And how old are you when you got started? So I am 27 now. I'm actually 28 on Saturday, the 12th of Feb. And I started in 2017. So that's five years ago now. So that means that I was 22, 23 at the time. So um, yeah, short and sweet. Jordi says, what's the best way of contacting you? I want to join your LDM program, but says it's closed down. So same goes for you, Jordi. Um, you can't directly contact me or schedule a call with me. You can schedule a call with the team. Um, and regarding the LDM program, it's not closed down. Um, we've just momentarily stopped it um, because you know we want to focus on those that are actually in the program and I'm also completely revamping the program and bringing out a 3.0 version of the program to stay up to date with all the changes post iOS 14, etc. You know, I've made a lot of changes to the current program, but I just want to completely revamp it and make sure that it is as up to date as it possibly can be. It will be finished at the end of Q1. I hope if everything goes according to plan, we've literally got the whole team now going through all the old modules, taking notes, making changes, etc. And then I'm going to re-record everything um, in the next few weeks. So yeah, like I said, best way of contacting me is um, if you want to join one of the paid programs then you best schedule a call with our team um, and the LDM program is not closed down it's just momentarily shut then we've got Kicho Pade apologies I can't pronounce that meta stock is dropping a lot will it affect Facebook ads oh that's a tough question to be fair man and to be completely honest I do not know the answer to this um, I think meta in general will affect Facebook ads because Facebook are now doubling down on the metaverse and on meta, et cetera. And that means that the priority for them has shifted from the Facebook ads in the current you know, landscape to whatever it is that they're gonna offer in the metaverse. So I think the fact that their attention has now shifted will obviously impact Facebook ads. But in terms of stock, uh, I'm in no way, shape or form an expert. So um, yeah, I, I would honestly wouldn't know, man. Then Steve, Stevie or Steve, are your hoodies still in stock? Um, yes, they are actually, yeah. So obviously, you know, there's no more extra large 
um, and stuff like that. But yeah, we do have a few more in stock. So for those that don't know, these are the hoodies here. There's unemployable on the back and it's basically just the ideal hoodie for deep work blocks and uh, working from home. It's extremely comfy, um, muscle fit. Obviously more life stands for you know, more freedom, financial freedom, freedom of time, freedom of location and then unemployable means that you know, you're know you basically too um, self-aware to ever join a nine to five again. So you will be, uh, you'll forever be an entrepreneur or a business owner. Um, Luke says, what is Consult X and how does it differ from Lifestyle Design? So Consult X is for the elite, basically. So Lifestyle Design teaches you how you can start your own advertising business. So it's for beginners to start an advertising business and scale that up to roughly six figures a year. Um, so eight to 10K a month, something like that. And then Consult X is for those that are already at that level, but they want to go further. So they actually want to go from six to seven figures or from 10K to 20K and so on and so forth, then Consult X is the program for you. Um, it basically teach you, teaches you how to become an absolute elite uh, Facebook ad agency, you know, whether that is uh, elite media buyer, whether that is to build out a team of A players or just to connect with other A players in general. Um, you know, Consult X, like I said, it's just a very, very small elite mastermind group, whereas Lifestyle Design is basically ideal for beginners that actually want to know how to actually run an agency um, and don't want to just listen to people that have never run an agency before but just teach the business model um, if you know you know Muhammad says do you think a niche is a good way to differentiate from the rest um, yeah so when starting out I would recommend to just look at different niches so you know be open to niche hopping you know switching up yeah, your niche and uh, not really, you know, going all in on one industry because you, you don't know what's out there, right? Like we stumbled on to our niche um, just by chance, just because we got good results for, for that particular industry. We noticed that it was easy to get into that industry and the rest is history basically. But, you know, before that we tried everything. We tried dentists, we tried restaurants, we tried uh, info products, we tried coaches, we, you know, we, we tried so many different niches and it was just by chance that we, you know, we basically stumbled onto this and we were open to it. So that is how it sort of became the niche that we are currently in. Um, so, you know, yes, in the long run, a niche is, that is definitely where you need to go. You know, you need to pick an industry because it's so difficult nowadays to differentiate yourself from the rest. You know, every single person now that is a so-called agency owner has their Facebook um, and Instagram where it says, you know, we help um, uh, e-com stores scale to six and seven figures. We help lead gen businesses scaled to six and seven figures. You know, obviously we know right away the fuller shit, but you know, for a business that has not yet seen that, you know, they can't really tell who's real and who is not. So if, you know, a company, let's say a company, um, let's say let's say it's a restaurant, okay? So a restaurant has a pick between someone that says, hey, we help lead generation businesses scale to six and seven figures and we help restaurants get more customers in on a daily basis um, with our Facebook ad strategy. Because that's so specific to restaurants, that restaurant is gonna be more inclined to actually click on that particular agency or that particular business. And we've noticed the same thing ourselves. You know, a lot of people that we speak to from our niche, they'll say like, listen, you know, we obviously get bombarded with you know, uh, aspiring agencies or agencies uh, reaching out to us. And the only reason why we're actually, you know, chose to work with you guys is because you guys were very specific in what you offer and you tailor to you know our exact industry so um yeah in the long run definitely go for one industry or one niche one offer erin axiat thoughts on everyone becoming a guru um so yeah it's 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 a it's it's one of them right so at the end of the day we are providing information so, you know, whether these coaches or gurus are good at what they do, good at what they offer, um, you know, whether they're just in it for the money or whether they actually want to provide value, at the end of the day, you know, people that join those programs, they want information and they will receive information to a certain extent. So we're all sort of on the same path. You know, we all have the same vision. We want to provide information and we want to work from our laptops. So in that way, I think, you know, the internet has basically made all this possible, so I'm great grateful for that. Uh, the one thing that I am against and I don't like is where a guru will not actively be 
um, working on that business model, but promoting. You know, if you've had an agency in the past and you've now decided, you know what, I want to switch to consultant and I want to consult aspiring agency owners, um, that's fine. You know, but then you've also got people that skip over the whole having an agency in the past and just go all in on promoting the agency business model. And then I'm like, you know, you can't take this serious, right? Uh, you know, it's, it's um, like I said, you know, the barrier to entry is extremely low, of course, for coaching and consultants. So that makes it difficult for people to, like I said, you know, distinguish themselves from the rest. Um, but what I've noticed, because I am still running an ANC myself, I still have clients myself, I'm still doing very well as an ANC owner myself, it's much easier to coach other people to do the same as well because I'm in the trenches. I know exactly what's going on in the industry. I know exactly what changes are being made to Facebook, to you know, to TikTok, to Snapchat. I can see all of it because I'm in the trenches myself still. Um, I know exactly you know, what the latest software is, what kind of, um, you know, offers are being made, etc. Whereas if you're just promoting the business model and you're teaching it, but you're not actually running it, it's hard to do that, right? You don't really know what's actually going on in the field and in the industry. And it's funny because a lot of people that join our programs, they say, oh, I'm actually also in XYZ program. The only reason why I'm unhappy with it is because they just teach outreach and then, you know, they don't actually teach Facebook ads because they don't know how to do it because the the landscape has changed. So yeah, like I said, at the end of the day, we're just all trying to provide the information. And it's it's basically up to you guys to decide you know, who's real and who's not and who actually has an agency and who hasn't. So yeah, like I said, I'm gonna put the ball back in your court and uh, let you decide you know, who, to, who to go for. And then last question, oh, there's two more questions. I know, I know a lot of your clients come from inbound and, oh no, it's one question, sorry. I know a lot of your clients come from inbound and referrals at present. Do you give your clients an affiliate deal or kickback when they refer their friends and family onto you? Um, yes, okay, so like I said, a lot of our clients come from referrals, so from other clients, they'll be extremely happy with the results that we're getting, and they'll basically go to their network and say, hey, choose these guys. Um, so we actually had a funny story. We had a call the other day, and um, we went through everything, and you know, basically they, they signed um, on the call, they were extremely happy. It's, uh, it's actually a celebrity, funny enough, that we signed, and at the end of it, she didn't really know what we offered. It was funny, like we sort of, like on the call itself, we were more focused on her business, and what they were, what they were doing, what they were aspiring to get to in terms of numbers, etc. cetera. Um, and then we basically said, listen, you know, we can definitely do this with, the, you know, with, with Facebook ads, we can, we can do X, Y, Z. Um, so we explained really in like really short, we explained what we can do. We didn't go into any details at all. And she was like, yeah, yeah, let, let's do it. Let's go for it. And then we paid and then she was like, okay, so what is it actually that you guys do? And we were like, well, you've literally just paid us 2K a month. You know, how, how can you not know what we do? And she said, well, to be fair, you guys came with such high appraisal from a close friend of mine that you know, I just thought, okay, I need to do this. You know, whatever it is that they do, you know, if if my friend is so happy with the service you're offering, I need to be on this as well. So she didn't even actually know what we were doing. She just knew, okay, these are the guys that I need to help me get to the next level. Um, so yeah, so a lot of our clients do come from referrals nowadays. So our current clients will then be happy with our service, and then you know they will basically say to other um, business owners, other you know, entrepreneurs that they need to work with us. We do not give them a kickback. Um, you know, like I said, we just we just say to them, listen, we take pride in what we do. If you know anyone else that could benefit from our service, just let us know. And uh, we mention that quite often. You know, we're, we're quite um, on the ball with it. We don't just say, oh, you know, if you know anyone, we'll give you $500 or not like that. So it's purely based on pride and on performance. So we just say, you know, we've got the capacity to take on more business. If you know anyone that could benefit from having the same results that you're getting for your business, then let them know. You know, let them know about us, um, and you know we'll be extremely grateful and happy for that. So our clients, because they're getting the results that they're getting, are so grateful for the results that they'll just do it without a kickback, without a commission. Um, so yeah, we have we've never actually even mentioned affiliate deals, commissions, kickbacks, nothing like that. Um, we just let the results speak for for, for themselves. So. Yeah, hope that answers your question. Um, and just quick tip to you guys, you know, anyone watching this, if you're getting good results for the clients, even though it doesn't feel like, you know, even though 
you see other people getting better results or not like that. Um, it's all, you know, it's, it's all perception, right? It's all in comparison to. So f- the results that you're getting, they might be amazing for other people. So, um, or for the business that you're currently running the ads for, right? They might be over the moon with it. So don't just not feel like it's impressive because you know that there's other people getting better results. Just mention it. Just say, hey, listen, you know, we're off to a good start. Um, just to let you know, we have the capacity to take on more business. So if you know anyone that could benefit from our service, you know, feel free to let us know or let them know. You know, we'd be happy to do the same for them. And, you know, the same goes for promoting, right? You know, on Instagram or on Facebook or whatever it is that you promote your stuff. If you get good results for your clients, if the ROAS is positive, if the revenue is positive, if, you know, they are making a profit, just post it on stories, post it on your socials, etc. because despite the fact that, yes, there might be businesses out there that are getting better results, there's also a lot of businesses that are not getting the results that you're currently getting, and they will look up to that. They'll still see that and say, oh, you know, these guys are doing a good job. I might actually need to look into these and see if they can do the same for me. So, um, yeah, hope that helps. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video here. If I haven't answered your question or if you were late to submit your question or anything like that, just leave it in the comments down below and I'll be sure to message you um, or either create a video about it or just message you directly with the answer to the question. But for now, I'm going to wrap up this video here. If you're watching this on YouTube, like, share, comment, subscribe. If you're watching this on Facebook, then comment agency at the bottom just so I know that you've made it to the end of the video. It might be a surprise for those that actually do that. Anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.